Hey everyone, welcome to Grafton Custom Woodworking. So I recently had someone bring this big chunk of block to me and it is a cutting board from a family member and it's got a lot of sentimental value to it. So they asked me to try to clean it up and kind of prep it up a little bit. And so we're going to really try to smooth it down. It's got a little bit of a cup and a bow in it. So we're going to try to clean it up and some of these sharp edges will kind of smooth them down a little bit maybe put a little chamfer so that way when it's sitting on the table or the countertop they can kind of grab a hold to it because this is a pretty big heavy chunk of wood and one thing that there is a lot of cuts and a lot of uh, cracks in it so like that so we'll have to try to figure out how to clean those up on the edges and some in the middle and then what uh, we'll probably do is also make a little juice groove in it. So that way we can have one side with juice groove and the other side just be a straight cutting board. So let's start with that. You can see right here how high it is right here. And you can really see the cup. How it's high here and high here and there's a lot of space here. So we got to take a little bit of it out. And once you kind of get closer to this back part, it's a little bit more level. So looking at it, there is a little bit of a rock to it. Um, not much, but there is some on there, but we'll have to level it out and smooth it down. So it is bowed up right here. I have to clean that off. This side right here, I flipped it over. This side right here is the side that's high. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of blue tape and put it on there, and then I'll flip it back over and see if we can uh, kind of get that twist out of it so it quits rocking now that i got that out and it doesn't really rock that much i'm going to send it through the planer uh just taking very very small pass on here just to kind of clean up some of the face a little bit and then uh, once i kind of get it smooth and flat then i can turn it over and so that way we get it dimensional Now you can see uh, it's got some pretty wood to it. Really nice, beautiful wood. Um, there is that crack that I'm worried about. Look, so really big here. But that smoothed it out really good. So now we'll flip it over and work on this side. Good and flat. This side, it turned out a lot better. You see, got some pretty grain to it. Uh, there is a couple of little cracks here, and that's the one that goes all the way through on the other side, and so is this one here. So we'll have to try to seal it. Other than that, that turned out really good. So the edges on here are kind of wobbly a little bit, and so I'm gonna put them on the joiner and clean them up, get them straight. And then uh, once we get both of these straight, then we'll put them on the miter saw and cut the edges straight and just kind of clean them up a little bit. I'm going to take very shallow passes, just kind of get it smooth and straight. Actually, what I'm going to do is now I got this one side straight, I'm going to put it on the table saw and cut this side so it's parallel, but you can see that was a nice clean cut. It's super straight, super clean. Now that I got all this cleaned up, I put some weight on it to keep it flat and stable for a couple of days, acclimated into the shop, make sure it all stays smooth. And so now what I need to do is find these little cracks, like right here, there's a couple of them here. And you can kind of see on the end, there's a couple of them here. There's one up here, here, and some of them go all the way to the back. So what I need to do is find where they're the biggest on the ends, and I'm gonna turn it around on the back, 
and just put some tape over it to seal that and then maybe some edge on the edges and then I'll put some epoxy on the other side. To really get into these cracks, I'm going to use a syringe. So I'm going to stick the syringe in here and suck some of this up, <clears throat> this epoxy. And just try to squirt it into those little cracks. Let it seep in there. Kind of shaking it a little bit, pushing on it, trying to get some of that those cracks kind of to flex and so that way some of that epoxy will go inside the, those cracks really good well, bubbles popping up too I see where it's soaking in some bubbles are coming up so I know that's where I need to put a little bit more epoxy now that the epoxy sat for a little while and it's got it all hard then I, I can go ahead and take the tape off and one thing that I was looking at was this is actually too thick for my uh, juice groove template. And so I'm going to actually have to take this over to my buddy's house over uh, TJ over at Duran Woodworking and Design. His link will be down below if you want to go check his website out. But he has a CNC so I'm going to actually have to take it over to his house and cut the the juice groove out with his CNC. Uh, I can't get this thickness into my uh, jig. All right, so now that I brought this cutting board over to my buddies, we've got it on his CNC machine and we've we got the center of it. And so we're gonna cut the CNC. First thing we're gonna do is, we got the bit in here, we're gonna cut a chamfer bit on the edges. And then we're gonna come in a little bit and cut a juice groove. And then we're going to just make sure the profile on the outside is lined up correctly. So we're going to go ahead and start that up.
now that we got this back in our shop, uh, one thing is because this is flat and it's so thick, it's hard to get it and pick it up. So what we would like to do is put maybe a little small chamfer on the bottom side of it also, and then maybe here on this edge so it's not so sharp. And then we'll just kind of sand it all down and smooth it. For these sharp corners here on the edges, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on my belt sander and put a 45 and then just kind of kiss it and make sure that we kind of smooth it out. Then I'll come back with hand sanding and clean it all up. So I got it on 45 and what I'll do is I'll put the board here and just I put some tape on here just kind of help hold it a little bit so it's not wobbly and then I'll just kind of slowly just kind of kiss here and then clean it up to where we need it to be. Now that I got that chamfer on the bottom and the corners kind of chamfered a little bit, I need to sand it all down. I'll start with 60 grit, 80 grit, and kind of go up all the way up to 220. And then once I get to 220, I'll water pop it, sand it to 220 again, and then I'll dunk it in some oil. Once I take it out of the oil, I'll sand it down back to 220 and then kind of go up in the grit so it's nice and soft. To get into the juice grooves, I have these Rockler contour sanding grips. And so I'll just take my sandpaper, wrap it around like that, and then just kind of get into these grooves and sand down the grooves. And I'll kind of just roll it a little bit, just kind of get the edges. I have taken it out of the oil now. I let it sit for a few hours so that way it's soaked in through this thick board and then I kind of I'm just wiping it down getting it dry all the excess and you see it's kind of it's dry now so what we're going to do is we're going to take some Warris wood wax uh, cutting board and we're going to smear it on here and buff it in really good this is really easy to use just kind of take your rag got something to get a little tiny bit on it and just put it in there and just kind of buff it in, rub it around, get it up into those grains and really just work it in good. This cutting board really, really turned out good. I mean, if you just look at the color on this, it's really pretty. It's a nice, really pretty piece of wood. And so uh, I really like the way it turned out. And hopefully the customer will be able to use this for many more years to come and they're happy with it. So. I, I like it. I would love to have it, but it does belong to a customer. So I want to say thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned some stuff about this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you later.